welcome back to another video I haven't made like an update video in a while obviously about six months ago we moved my bike shop down um, to the south end of Marston and we got this big new premise here Simon Tom bike shop and, and the addition of the coffee ride cafe as you can see here but another like big update is that over the last few months we've been working with specialized and we've become a specialized dealer in New Zealand which is a pretty big deal they approach you you don't really approach them in New Zealand so as you can see we have the specialized decals and everything we've been selling a few levos and tarmacs and i've actually got a new bike myself which you'll see later in this video bigger news we are expanding the business and we have just signed a new lease for a new premise and we're heading there now oh, i'll see you later to our new premise this is going to be cycling tom bike hire and bike tours we are expanding the business obviously for the last three three and a bit years we've just been a pure bike shop with the new shop we started a little bit of like a rental fleet we've got about seven bikes but the market for hire and like tours and adventure riding and stuff is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger so this is kind of my next big project and we're pretty excited about it and what a sick space as well so as you can see, Bike Hire and Bike Tours has always kind of been on the greater vision of like the Cycling Tom dream. Um, and this is just, you know, the next part of that. So we're going to take you guys for a little bit of a walk around the offices and then we'll look at the back of the massive warehouse. So this is kind of the front bit you come in. This is all ours from that fence to that fence. There's a little shed here. This is kind of the main entrance. Come on, Lucky, show us the way. So this is the main door and you come through here and this is going to be our reception it's going to be pretty echoing here because there's literally nothing in this entire building but this is going to be the reception so we're going to have a similar desk to the one we have at the bike shop uh, made by my mate's company so we'll have that swing in here this is where you'll be greeted uh, this is where the desk and everything will be in here and then there'll be a little bit of some cool stuff on the walls and it's a funny layout there's a lot of doors everywhere we're probably going to take those doors off but straight through here is just like a little office so this office will probably just be for anyone that's doing admin or stuff for the bike shop they'll be in here but then you come through here and there's a nice uh, little open area in here and this is probably going to be like a mini cycling tom bike shop so if you like forget anything or you want some glasses or gloves or jackets uh nutrition all that type of stuff will be in here and we'll have like a little bit of a store um set up in here some seats and like you know make it comfortable for the people that are coming through and then through here there's another bigger office we haven't entirely worked out what to do with this one but it's got its own external door Obviously running a business there's a lot of paperwork and stuff so maybe I'll set up my office here or someone will set up their office here we can put all of our filing and stuff because you've got to file so much stuff in the business so yeah this is the big big office anyway and then once you come through the little bike shop but they've just completely re-renovated this and this is kind of like the kitchenette area I guess it's got a fully tiled floor little bit of a kitchen I've got the old coffee machine from the old shop um, on Queen Street little bit nostalgic there oh shit but yeah, this has been completely redone, which is pretty sick. So yeah, all new stuff in here, new little kitchenette unit. And then you come through here, and you've got a toilet, a nice vanity and stuff, and a really, really nice shower. So this area in here is basically going to be like a mini the Coffee Ride Cafe. So obviously the cafe that we put in the bike store has been doing real well, but for people just coming here, getting ready for their ride, their hire or their tour, they can come in here have a coffee, have a few snacks and stuff, bit of food and there'll be some nice coffee tables and stuff here just to relax probably a massive TV on the screen here to watch some racing and some tours and some adventures around New Zealand and then yeah from here you come through this little door and you come into the ginormous warehouse Right, so this is the absolutely ginormous warehouse. Obviously, doing a high business and a high fleet, we need a shit ton of bikes. So we're kind of planning on starting with around 50 to 70 bikes. Um, we need a workshop to build all of these bikes, to maintain these bikes, to store the bikes. The bike store is also having real bad storage problems at the moment. We got, we got a lot of demand for bikes and a lot of stuff 
but we can't kind of keep the stock levels up because we constantly have to get things in. And if you don't know the Wairapa, we're kind of like a, a big flatlands surrounded by mountains off the main road so getting stuff here is not the quickest so this is kind of how we're going to fix that. But yeah this space is absolutely amazing, it's absolutely ginormous. Everything I want to do with this business, this space is absolutely perfect for. It ticks all the boxes, I had to have it when I got it and it's been a long drawn out process like everything is in business but we finally got it. So I'll give you guys a little bit of a rundown of what we want to do in here. So that's the connecting wall, obviously all the offices and stuff come through that door. So what we want to be able to do is if you're in the, the van with our big trailer on, I'll put a photo up of our trailer. We've got a 12 bike trailer that um, we use for Alps to Ocean. So basically we want to be able to come through this door and drive the van straight through here, pretend that the bikes are all going to be on the trailer, park up, unload all the bikes, and then the van and the trailer can go straight through that door and all the way around and then come out the other side. This is kind of like the western wall. From here I want to build sort of like a, a mezzanine um, to have a whole lot of storage up top, kind of use the, the space that we have, like the height of the space, and then I'll have a, like a stairwell that kind of goes up there, and then underneath I want to build like an absolutely beautiful uh, workshop. We're going to have like electric stand, nice walls on it, paint them all black, have all the tools on the wall nicely, kind of like you see on those, those really fancy like Instagram videos. So I want to be able to film in here, and obviously we need to be able to maintain the bikes and stuff. So that's kind of what I want to do in here. And then in the middle we'll probably have some like those metal storage racks just for stock and all that type of stuff, helmets, panniers, you know, everything you can possibly think of. And then in this corner this one will be bikes ready to go, all lined up, ready to go. And then that's going to be our big charging station. So that wall we're going to turn into the charging station. Because obviously if you've got 50 odd e-bikes, it's a lot of charging and a lot of power. So yeah, that's the warehouse, it's about 300 square meters. And then you come through this door, come out into like the outside area. So you come through that door, here's the warehouse, it's kind of out the back. Out the back's got basically just going to be parking for all of our trailers, our vans and stuff for the hire, and then all of the customers' um, cars will kind of like come down here. That is uh, State Highway 2 bypass as well, we are right on the bypass. So as you can see we have a massive massive warehouse here. You can drive all the way around here and do a full loop, go out that gate and then go straight back out onto the road without having to do any U-turns or anything. So that's really cool, but yeah that's kind of all we have to show, we only got the keys for this maybe like two or three days ago, so it's very, very new, there's a lot of signage to go, there's a lot of negotiating to go, bikes built, like this isn't going to be up and running for a couple of months, but we're very excited about it and the Cycling Tom brand just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. What do you reckon Lucky? Pretty good spot eh, and it means that you can finally come to work. Lucky hasn't been able to go to the new bike shop, obviously because of the cafe, and she's a pretty hairy dog. We don't want her hair in your food, so, but this place, she's definitely gonna be able to come, which is pretty cool. But yeah, here's the space. Obviously, this is the, the next mission. I've obviously got Unbound on my mind. I've got six, six, uh, yeah, six weeks until Unbound. So, kind of like training is gonna take a priority, so this taste is gonna take a back seat, but we just got the keys, so I thought I'd show you guys kind of like what's been going on in the Cycling Tom world. But yeah, super, super excited about it. We've got a lot of work to do in the next, I guess, like, four to five months before we open. Yeah, exciting times. Look what the cat dragged in. Oh, driving too fast. Fuel efficiency road. Mate, we're not going for golf. Mate, we're not going to play golf. <laughs> All right, it's become a pretty nice day. We're back at home in the studio. Um, Elliot's here. He's come to do like a little bit of a last ride before he heads off to Europe. He's going to Andorra and then I think he's racing in Belgium for the out uh, our New Zealand winter. But I did get a new road bike. I am going to do a full like review video on this, but we're going to take this out for a ride today. Specialized um, SL7 Tarmac. Pretty sick bike. Got the Hyper um, D67 wheels on it. It's like a whole load of just matte carbon and it looks so sick. Real understated, but it's almost like real overstated because of how good it looks. Then just my normal um, Ultegra grip set on it. But yeah, I'll do an in-depth review on that in the coming weeks anyway. But yeah, she's a, she's a looker. Far flash bike. I'm the best. Yeah, how you liking it? Yeah, it's good, eh? You know, shout out Scotty Brown. What, what model factor? Austro van. But not the brand new one, it's like the first yep. gen. Oh yeah, but pretty nice bike. Dirty, you know, oh, is the race wheels for the for Europe season? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're pretty nice, I haven't seen a set of Envies in a while. Oh shit, even got the ceramic speed. Yeah, sure. Oh, that does sound pretty nice. Oh, is that sick? So that's like the Ambassador's helmet, eh? Yeah, apparently. The laser one. Fuck, oh, that is pretty sick. Pretty oh, why? That would've looked cool with our kit. Trap, we'll open stuff stick on the, on the top. Ooh. Thomas Gary. <laughs> Welcome to Masterton, boy. 
Laser. What's your plan for this year, mate? Go to Andorra for three weeks to train or approach and then hit to Belgium with the rest of Oxford Edge. Yeah. For two months. What type of racing are you doing there? Just, just finesses? Yeah, just the like club curves. Yeah. The, like the, the B's and the A's and then head home before take over three months so I get put in prison. Yeah, fair enough. And Southland. Oh yeah, fourth grandy. Fourth, fourth grandy. Hopefully that goes well and then off the music. Good man. Oh, how's the new kit, new bike and everything? Oh, like new Tonelli threads, pretty good. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. The yeah. bike's good. Everything's pretty good this year, hopefully. Thanks, Bell, and just that bit that much better. Yeah, yeah. Sixty-five k, two hours, and I've done two hundred and ten watts average as well. How many? How many bikes you sold? Donuts. Donuts. Three. Distracting my I stuff. Three. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. To you. No. <laughs> two plates. Now he's ready for Andorra. Now he's going to Andorra to the altitudes, to the mountains, so he can race Belgian Camisas. Well, makes sense. Right? Uh, makes no, sense. Two tens a bit hard, you know. When you're at altitude, you know your heart rate will be too high at that sort of wattage. Yeah. yeah. You have to whack it back down to like one sixty, <laughs> one seventy. <laughs> I've just spent the afternoon trying to fill up or like move stuff from my old lock up to the new storage. We've got the trailer in here at the moment, the vans, and now I'm full of a whole load more bikes. Got a whole load of bikes there for Gladstone School as well. But yeah, I'll give you guys a little bit of a walk around of the trailer for the tour because it's pretty sick. So this was built fully custom to spec um, by a local guy, JB Industries, Johnny Burkhart. It's a double axle braked trailer. It can fit 12 uh, bikes, e-bikes, all the way up to like e-mountain bikes along the back. We had a whole lot of road bikes. We've done a uh, fair bit already with this. Obviously the logo on the side for Cycling Tom Bike Tours, which is what this whole place is gonna end up being. And then we have this massive um, box. You kind of usually see these on the back of utes, um, like trader utes and stuff, but we can fill the whole thing up, we've got a bit of stuff, uh, a bit of gear in there from Alps Ocean still. But yeah, they um, fully lock up, so lockable boxes on the back, spare tire. But yeah, that's kind of where we're up to. We've got the van, we've had that van since day one of the bike shop. She's coming up about three and a half, four years old now. That trailer's fairly new, we got it just before Southland um, last year. So yeah, that's kind of where we're up to, just trying to move everything at the moment. I'm gonna take all these bikes out, I've got so many bike boxes just for stock that I'm gonna kind of line up here and just stuff that you kind of accumulate over the years. An old bike shop flag. But yeah, that's gonna to end today's video. I haven't done a vlog like this in quite a long time. 
Um, like I said, I'm going to do a bit of an update on my new race bike that will be coming probably next week with that new specialised tarmac that I've got fully custom built up. I think Shimano is sending me the new GRX uh, DO2 group set before I'm bound, so that's going to be real exciting. Hopefully we'll get that on my bike before I leave in six weeks. But yeah, if you have missed the videos, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new and you want to see more content like this. And obviously, Unbound coming up. We're going to have some pretty cool videos coming up in America.